Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. So, for some of you out there have message saying, where's the latest video? My new chan my, my main channel will be reactivated next month. I just gotta wait the time frame out. Probably like the 21st of March. I, uh... <clears throat> Decided to heat up on the stove since I don't have um, uh, a way of reheating coffee in the microwave. I just reheated it on the stove. Uh, trying times. Now, for some of you out there, it is approximately 3 o'clock. So, uh, I went to bed late last night. And I finally got a, a, a decent amount of sleep. Usually I don't sleep but 4 to 6 hours or less. Because I get woke up from Chloe or Moppy jumps on the bed or whatever you know and uh, I just wanted to do a short video um, I was talking to Tara the other day and uh, I got angry with her on Saturday um, because I was asking her a question and then she uh, we were both I guess you could say we were both angry at each other but she has her reasons I have mine I'm gonna I apologize to Tara now uh, for some of you out there I'm trying to stay away from social media it's depressing me it's literally depressing me I mean you got all these people posting memes. I, I do it all the time, too, but I'm at the point in my life where I don't really care. Because, frankly, it sucks. Literally. So, I sent Chloe out to get some coffee and some toilet paper. That's the shopping list for today. Which, today is the 18th. Uh, tomorrow is the 19th, which, supposedly, we're supposed to have rain tomorrow. So, Chloe's like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go to the thing. I'm not going to let jeopardize my computer getting wet to go up to the library so with one spreadsheet to go for the month I can wait um you know the weatherman's basically screwing up it's rain it's snow it's rain it's snow why can't they just make up their mind you know that's what I told my sister Teddy but I want to share with you a couple things today okay so with Chloe out at the moment a lot of people sit there and they ask me and they, I tried to explain to my family, you know, like, you know, everyone knows that by now, uh, you know, the sheriff came out and did a welfare check on me because family's worried I didn't surface. And frankly, I really don't care to surface, all right? Plain and simple. You heard it from me on my channel. The reason for it is I don't really care, uh, basically, you know. I'm going through hell. So I wrote some letters to Tara basically saying how much more am I going to take, literally. Now... I've told uh, people this, that Chloe's looking to move to Las Vegas to be a prostitute. Now, Chloe's mom's watching it. It's not my choice, okay? My sanity is going down the toilet, okay? Plain and simple. Literally, I needed to make a video that was perfect, that can explain it without getting combative with Chloe. Because this morning, Chloe wakes me up and goes, Look, 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 I'm going to take a half off. I'm in bed, sleeping. It's like, why the fuck do you wake me up and tell me I'm going to... You're, you're going to take a bath. Just take one. I'll take one later. Then she wait, gets down to the bath. Love, love, love. You heard me? Love, love. Climbs into the bed. And it's like, what do you want? I'm trying to sleep. I mean, literally. I mean, I don't get the sleep I need. And she gets dressed and then comes back out. And love, 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 love. love. It's bullshit, all right? Let me tell you what's driving me nuts, okay? You live with someone who, and I'm going to ask Gabby this, because Gabby's got a uh, son that's autistic. Do you believe that autism people basically ask the same questions like the rain man? No, no jokes today about the rain man. Because frankly, I, uh, I'm going to have to get a job because I need to eat. i got to find a job on this island. i got to eat. We don't know if food stamps are going to be restored. i got to eat. I mean, look, they're going to send letters out eventually basically saying it's restated, okay? In the meantime, you know, we don't know what's going on. I mean, I, I, I know friends are like, stockpile food, water, guns, and money. Well, I would like to do that. I mean, I'm already going to email some people about some firearms restore, restoring what I have. Uh, but my problem is this. Why the fuck should I even bother? Literally. I mean, until someone gives me the fucking right answer, I'm sitting back saying, let's wait and see. Is there some type of revolt that I don't know about? I mean, literally, that's what, the, I mean, look, life is about unexpected things. That's why you sit there and you place your faith in the Lord 
and you just mosey along. I know Tara doesn't like me saying that, but I'm just saying it. You know, I know Gabby's religious, but you guys get the idea. This morning, it's, oh, my, we're not going to go. It's, I'm sitting there going, can't you just get the fuck out of here? I mean, look, my day's been shot because A, you woke me up, and B, you're on the same shit about food stamps. You can't, you, you don't want to do anything. I mean, look. Lil wants to move the, the um, move the treadmill in here, but she's got to clean her room first. This is what she's got to clean. She's got she wants to clean all that up, reorganize the closet, clean up the rest of the junk here, and get prepared. And then I got to listen to her talk about how uh, I need to get an Xbox 360 and whatever else to hook up to a TV that right over there. I mean, literally, come on, people. I can't stand this. Literally. Every day I ride the treadmill to uh, exercise, and every day, uh, you know, my phone, my phone's gone. I mean, it's like, it's like Tara said, alright? The other day I had a cake pan about this big, you know, 13 by 9, right? Full of pork chops. Chloe didn't want to have her pork chops, so she let it sit and get moldy. As soon as it went bad, she couldn't take a fork and scrape off the pork chop. She tossed the entire cake pan, which was my mother. Oh, well, you can buy a new one, Rita! Yeah, and I told this to Tara, right? I know Tara, uh, Tara J and Gabby and Lexi's watching going, this, uh, and I know Tara J's answer is Eber Babbitt is fucking lazy. Yeah, literally, tosses a fucking pan and then demands paper plates so they don't have to do dishes. There's no more tank for me to you stuff to pay it, pay for the I mean, come on! I mean, look, when I'm in Oregon, I don't sit there and say, Oh, Tara, you don't have to go pay for plates, I don't want to do dishes. Instead, I'm just like rinsing off, throwing them in the dishwasher, being like, Yeah, I'm not contributing to my family, and we're all family together. Tara sits there and says, Well, well you want enchiladas, okay. Or you want this, no problem, you know. Tara's awesome. Same with Corey. I don't sit there and bitch. Corey says, Here's a pot, pull out all Tara's, uh, um, weeds down around the property, I'd be like, okay, I'd go out there as long as it's dry, and I'd go pull all the weeds. And he said, picked up all the poop on the lawn, all right, and it was just, it was, you showed me what to do, okay, done. Thing is, is her, she can't fix a toilet, so the toilet's running every time, I gotta fix the toilet. And I gotta do this, and do that, and it's like, I don't know how to do that. I mean, literally, it's like, if you don't know how to, you know, I mean, look, you put Drano in, Riddick in, all that shit in, and you let it eat away the, uh, eat away inside the toilet, because we know what happened, okay, now, but honestly, I'll tell you what the fuck happened with the toilet, alright, for all of you out there, Gabby, Lexi, Tara J, uh, Corey, Tara Behole, she took a giant pot like this, a steel pot like this, that was full of noodles, and decided to push the noodles down the toilet, you know how many times? I have to use Ridex and everything else to unclog it, and I said, no, well, I don't want to go outside, it's cold and rainy, I don't want to dump it in the dumpster. Then you put it in a bag, seal it up in the garbage bag, and take it up. Ooh, I mean, i got to get more garbage bags, because she's used them all. And she used all my Ziploc bags. I had like 40 gallon size Ziploc bags. I mean, one thing that would be coming handy is moving to Oregon as a, with family, you know, they're, they're going to Costco. They say, well, you want to swing by, if I live near them, you can swing by and get you, you can go to Costco, that's fine, I have a Costco card. Problem is, I need to get, you know, there's items that I need to get in the book. Toilet paper, paper towels. Talking about paper towels, I bought six mega rolls. I know, TJ is going to sit there and say, what the fuck? Five of them were used to clean the fucking bathroom. Five of them! Sorry to say, but there's a fucking problem in this world. Literally. I'm at the point of my life where I'm just fed up. I'm fed up with waking up in the morning and basically sitting there and going, Oh yes, I need to um uh get up, you know, and like last night, Oh, are you done yet? I wanna play Skyrim again because I had the T V because my sink charging. So I decided I gotta purchase a second switch so I can actually change out games while I'm playing so I can keep playing my game. Meantime, I get, are you done yet? So I, I finally went to bed. I was like, fuck this, I'm going to bed. I ain't tolerating this crap. It was like 3.30 in the morning. I was like, here, have the fucking game. I'll let, uh, and I was asleep. So I slept like 12, I think I slept probably about 12 hours, give or take with two bathroom breaks. But 
You get the idea. I just freaking I wake up and this is what I hear. Oh, we're going to have first time. I'm going to have first time. I'm going to have to get a job. It's like my motto is this: I don't want her here. Plain and simple. I said it in my letter. Chloe knows this. Chloe thinks if she got a job, she can stay here. No, the rent goes through the roof, and if she loses her job, guess who's got to pay the excess amount, which means hurting big time because we're on subsidy. I mean, literally, it doesn't pay to, you know, people don't understand this, you know. I mean, literally. I mean, I mean, uh, people sit there and, uh, and, and say to me, you know, literally, uh, you're catering to her. I mean, look, one of the things is, is if I don't give her the tub first, I'm the most completest, utmost bastard. If I don't provide for her, I'm a bastard. I'm tired of it. I am tired of it. I, I, I'm lost, is what I told Gabby. I'm lost because, you know, there's certain answers I don't have that, you know, I would love to have my family uh, give me some answers of, like Tara and Corey, like, you know, do I go out and stockpile uh, the stuff I need at Walmart this much? Just place it on the cart, get it done. I mean, this is stuff that I would like to ask. You know, what do I do? I mean, I'm still loading on games. I don't need to worry about that. I'm worried more about fucking uh, other things. I mean, I found eBay to be cheaper for my games. Uh, you know, buy new games and et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I mean, I mean, as I said in my last video, you know, that I didn't upload because, you know, one of the purchases I want to make is a printer. I have some business I need to do and need a printer. I told Tara this. I just need to buy in button and get a printer. That doesn't uh, debit my card every month for ink when I don't need ink. I mean, literally, I mean, uh, HP sucks. Their uh, reusable ink program sucks, you know, and I'll tell you that. But my point is this. You know, I love all of you dearly. And, you know, um, I, I do, literally. And because of it, I'm the type of person that would like, you know, to, um, um, you know, tell you how I'm feeling, and my depression's severe, okay, literally, people sit there and say, oh, you're happy, no, I'm not, I'm literally fucking unhappy, all right, I gotta fucking listen to, oh, I'm so depressed, I can't clean, you gotta clean, oh, I'm so depressed, I can't cook, cook, I mean, literally, it's like, if you're that fucking depressed, get a fucking group home, because I'm tired of it, TJ even knows this, oh, wait, there's no money. Literally, and I, I, you'd be, uh, the name Beaver Babbitt for Chloe, just because, you know, but, I mean, literally, I mean, I was gonna sit down and write a letter to Tara today, basically explaining how depressed I am, and I figured a video would come first, so Tara could see this, and realize that's how fucking depressed I, mean, I am, I mean, literally. I mean, I wake up, and it, and it uh, starts every, uh, she starts every morning, I know Tara likes to say it, or he, or, um, um, uh, it. You know, but my point is this: I'm tired of waking up every fucking morning. Well, I'm so depressed, and I'm sitting there like, can I? I mean, last night I was sitting there playing a game, and I was like trying to read the, listen to the storyline a bit, and she's like, oh no, 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 I can post that, no, 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 no. She thinks she thinks the people, a secret militia, the Trump starting a secret militia, telling everyone to stockpile food, money, and everything else to revolt against the poor. I mean, literally, I, I mean, this morning I'm sitting there doing my dip, and I'm going like this. Like, a secret fucking militia, get real. Oh, well, they're going to be trying to kill us all and enforce us all and make us slaves. Really? I mean, this is the shit I hear every fucking day. I mean, literally. And then I'm sitting there thinking to myself, what the fuck is she? She bipolar? She schizophrenic? I mean, literally, I gotta see a psychiatrist and psychologist and therapist and a nurse practitioner all on, uh, I believe it's March 12th. I'll call them on March 1st. But you get the fucking idea. I hear, it's like, for real? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, literally. I mean, uh, I mean, she needs help. Literally. She needs freaking help. I mean, the mental hospitals aren't doing it. That's why I asked Tara, would it do any good? Literally. And, and I asked Teddy, and Teddy's like, I don't think so. Like, four times, five times, six times, Tara. It's more than that. It hasn't helped. I mean, 
So, soon I'm going to take a bath, but I just thought I'd share that with you. The mornings, uh, every morning this week, for the last 10 days, is nothing but, am I going to have fruits, am I going to have fruits, am I going to have my sex change, am I going to I don't know. Literally, I don't know. I mean... Uh, medicine's due today, so I gotta give both of us our injection, but you get, you know, for hormones, but you get the idea. I mean, literally, I can't fucking take this. I mean, that's why I zone out, and then because I, uh, we, uh, we, uh, slowly watch the TV, too, I'm stuck with charging, so when I'm charging, I'm stuck doing other projects. I mean, like, this morning, I told Chloe, when I got up, she can play for a while until I'm done with my, uh, spreadsheet project, uh, offline project, and then I will, uh, Go straight to uh, Skyrim, but no, it's like I mean literally. And then I want to do letters too. I got one letter to write, or two letters. Tara's one, and the game company's one. And the printer requires the other project to be done, so I need to sit down and print out what needs to be done on the other. And then I can write down what I need to write down. And then get it done. I mean, it takes a while. I can do everything offline, but it'll take me four times longer, you know. But uh, I could do it that way by a manual, too. I mean, you know, my thing is, is I just can't take it. And I'm not saying I'm going to hurt myself or hurt someone else. I'm just saying I can't take this much more. Literally, that's what I was asking Tara for some guidance. Because, frankly, I mean, the threat, threatening my family, threatening Chloe's family, threatening... I mean, look, let me put it this way, okay? I like Tara Jade. She's a great person. But I think Tara Jade, if you're watching this, Tara Jade, you're going to laugh at this part. Yesterday, I closed the computer doesn't work. She demanded I get up, pack up my stuff. When I just sat down to do spreadsheets, had everything open, ready to do them, I did three in an hour and a half. And, you know, browse the net, check pricing for airfare and stuff and everything else, weather and CNN and yeah, as a Tara J, you're sitting there saying, well, hurry it up. Turn around, she uses your male name. She found it through, uh, what is it, something, uh, Kiwi Farms, I think it was. She's always, <clears throat> oh, I don't know why, and I'm just going to use your, your name. I know you by Tara J. I don't like the other name, you know. Oh, I can't believe they put hardware and software and hardware system and blah, 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 blah. And then she was going on about how the government wants your computer and everything else. I'm sitting there going, and then when her computer wasn't working, she was hitting her head like this. I'm like, knock it off. And I'm sitting there like this, you know. And I'm going, knock it off. You know, she's like, no, shut up, shut the fuck up. I'm going. I'm sitting there like in a public place, of all places. I mean, literally, these are the psychotic breaks I get when her something isn't working. The other day, right? The other day, she had three pairs of glasses. I've seen her toss two pairs and break. She broke my husband's sunglasses that, uh, that I can still use. You know, the ones that you sent me home, Tara? She broke those. She throws them. I said, why'd you do that? Oh, it wasn't me. It was you. Really? You're blaming me? Well, you caused it. Really? So, you know, when my sister Teddy asked, well, what was the trigger that set up the whole thing about the drinking in the hospital and then holding me like this and keeping me, was holding me to get help, which you said it yourself, TJ, that's against the law. Police said, well, it's nine hours. If it was in a four-hour period, we would have rested you closed. So I was like, oh, well, I'm ready to go to a mental hospital now. If we're not taking you, go to Skagit. But you get the idea every time I turn around. You know, I mean, literally, I mean, uh, Tara, uh, Tara J, Gabby, Lexi, Corey, Tara, b -hole, you all know I need to get my glasses, and I have not been this without it. I mean, when Hubby was alive, Hubby would just sit there and march me down to Walmart and the following month and be like, glasses now. And literally, we he did them with me, literally, and I loved Aaron dearly. I mean, I remember one time I marched him down and, and uh, got his glasses, you know, because he needed them after 15 years, you know, with me. I'm losing so much vision that um, I have to look at everything so close. And so with me, I'm getting to the point in my life where, you know, I can't even read on a 60-inch screen, basically, uh, the the words, you know. I mean, I have to look this close to say, oh, an Acrobat Reader DC. Okay, 
I mean, without it, I can't even see what's on the screen, basically. That's how legally blind. Now, I know my family's like, well, you don't need a uh, firearm or a bow or a crossbow if you're legally blind. Well, I also know that I just asked out of an opinion. Your opinion's been duly noted. I'm still getting one anyway for my self-defense with my glasses. My problem is, is right now, I can't buddy see, and I know Sarah said she'd like to help me glasses. The thing is, it's not your job. My glasses, no one knows where the fuck they went. That's the thing. I mean, they vanished one night, and they've never been delivered yet. I mean, I have the glass case, yet there's nothing. So, to me, I have to fucking uh, find me new glasses, which means going and getting a new prescription, and um, at Walmart, 75 bucks, I'm just going to plunk it down in April and get it done. I mean, literally, I just can't fucking not do it. I mean, yeah, I have other items that I needed, underwear and socks, that I can get those that month, the phone's needed. If I wasn't buying a phone, I would be basically getting the fucking, um, uh, glasses. But you guys get the idea. I know Gabby's, uh, you know, and, and, and the other thing is, when Chloe calls the alcohol thing, it's always trying to, I think, get me detained, involuntary, so she could, uh, I have a feeling, uh, if she's so hurting for money, she'd strip everything I own and sell it. I mean, uh, that's how I feel. I mean, maybe I'm paranoid, but as I told Tara and Teddy, you know, and I and Teddy doesn't, or not Teddy and you know, Tara don't know that Chloe's tried twice to be committed on this island in Admiral. She even tried to get me committed once in Mosley Lake. I walked out the front door. I mean, you know, went home. Chloe is serious. I mean, literally, the reason Chloe is angry, marched up to the hospital, yelled at them about gender markers and stuff, but she said they didn't do their job about that. And the nurse said, look, we thought Rita was a threat, so we basically brought a sheriff in. Rita wasn't a threat. Uh, basically, we now know the threat's you, but please leave. You know, after they gave her business card, call please. Call oh, he didn't want to call. She's like, fuck you, I ain't going through your hospital again. Rita isn't either. Well, I lost uh, the ability to see a therapist there for no charge. So, technically, and, and you know, with Chloe basically doing this, I need therapy. Can't do it because I'm living with a fucking crackpot that, you know... Is, uh, you know, claiming, you know, uh, that the mental health system's broken. No, the real honest truth is, Tara said this, Teddy said this, even her mom said this. She's destroyed her own, uh, she self damaged her own self to avoid this. I mean, literally. I mean, I talked to the hospitals that she went to, and they all asked how come they didn't do an IR, uh, an LRA, which is, a uh, a less restrictive alternative and uh, LRA court ordered outpatient. I said, you know what she do? She just fucking pack up and leave, and leave the state. What are you gonna do then? Send a warrant for her? She says no under medical. If they left the state. There's nothing that can be done. Yeah, you can go to Ohio, reapply for Medicaid there. There's an LRA in place in Washington. You're, you're fucking. You, know, you can go to Arizona, California. They won't enforce it. She said, I know. So what's the point of doing an LRA if you know? You know, she said LRA is also for people that are. Stuck now with her. All she has to do is make phone calls to her mom and wall a wall of bean bang. She's out of the, she's out of, um, you know, out of the state. So technically, uh, you know, and she's told them this. So they they know this. <clears throat> Thing is, is they do involuntary out, inpatient. They'd have to uh, involve and then make her wait to go to the state hospitals, which makes it <clears throat> a waiting list to make sure she's medicated. Thing is. <clears throat> The hospital is only putting her on one set of meds. They don't want to sit there and say, Oh, these meds aren't working. We want, we need to listen to Rita. Instead, they basically put her on the same ones. It don't work. I wrote letters about this. I sent letters to, uh, Tara J, Gabby, Lexi, and, and the rest of the team that knows, you know, what happened. I mean, literally. I mean, I mean, like, uh, like this morning, she was demanding I listen to her, and I finally said, Look, I don't have any fucking answer to food stamps. I don't have anything. This is the demands that she makes. How the fuck am I supposed to know something? If I went to Gabby and said, if uh, Gabby and I connected up, and I said, well, I'm not going to uh, take care of the little ones until you give me the answer, are we getting a food stamps? Gabby would say I'm just a complete ass. I mean, literally. I mean, uh, I'm mean, using Gabby as an example, but you get the idea, Gabby. The fucking problem is these fucking dumbass motherfuckers are basically using, uh, demanding, you know, and I don't, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of fucking demanding. I mean, literally. I mean, I mean, literally, when it comes to food, 
<clears throat> I don't know. And here's another thing that's been driving me fucking up the wall, alright? The food. Well, if I don't get a job, you're gonna have to give me money when you send me out to Vegas so I can eat. Otherwise, and maybe find, uh, give me resources for, uh, homeless shelter. And I know Tara Beal's watching this going, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, literally, I'm supposed to send her money too. Tapping into my food, uh, food supply money. I mean, literally, I mean, this is what I was thinking today, okay? Now, with dumbass, and I know this isn't the best of healthy food, but let me just tell you my thoughts. So this morning, I'm sitting there, and I'm doing dip, and I'm thinking about coffee, okay? Now, I love those sausage pizzas from Schwann's. I thought, you know what? I should just buy, like, 30 of them, stock them in the freezer. We got the freezer. The freezer's got some stuff in there. I got a chest freezer. Why not just fill it up, you know? Just fill the fucking thing up, you know? I mean, literally, in this day and age, it would benefit, you know, for me to stock up. So I'm up say, when's your next order? Okay, I'm going to place an order. You know, I, I mean, I've already told myself I'm not buying the ice cream bars because Chloe eats all the fucking ice cream. And she's apparently lactose intolerant, so she farts a lot when she has dairy. I mean, literally, and the diarrhea and stuff, I mean, it, it, it's not good. I mean, literally, it's not good. So, you know. And with 10 days to go to payday, every day gets me closer to payday. And every day, it's the same shit. Well, you're here to buy me food. You're here to buy me food. I mean, literally, she burned her bridges with the DED program, the, dis the development of the disabled, because her diagnosis is 22 years old, as Gabby said. And I think Teddy said, and Lex, uh, Lexi said, and uh, not like Gabby. Gabby's not brought up, but Tara B. Holen. And even I think Tara J. would agree. Getting on disability with every fucking main severe mental illness is not going to get her disability. I mean, literally. She's untreated. She's got to have treatment. She's got to have meds. And she's got to make it work to get on disability. She isn't working for nothing. All she says, oh, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. Yeah. She gets a job, she fucks over my rent, and if she fucking quits, then we both go homeless because fucking she didn't think when she quit. Which means the rent's locked into place for two months while we research yet again. Which means if I don't pay $900, then we'll, how do we pay the electric bill, the cell phone bill, you see? No one fucking understands these except me. I, I think Gabby does, and Tara Beal knows. I mean, literally, it's like the other day, we're talking about, uh... Me and Tara were talking about firearms. Um, nothing major, I know. Nothing major. We were talking about why I got rid of mine. Well, between government agencies and uh, the city, they didn't want Chloe to have firearms in the house locked up or not because, frankly, they felt threatened. Yeah, so doing my duty as a good citizen, I decided, oh, okay, you know, and so, you know, but I can still get them back. The problem is, is I will be getting them back. My permit's been reissued. All I gotta do is just go and buy them, which means there's no wait period for me. It's just, I'm fucking tired of this fucking shit. Literally. Oh, well, you need this and you need that. Really, I, I got a guy I can send a layaway to. I can send, I can pay him off pretty much. I can get the, uh, I mean, I got rid of all my Glocks and XDs and everything else and my, uh, Smith and Wessons, you know, and all this other crap. I just want, uh, my 1911 back. That's all I want. That's all I care for. I want the 1911 and 9 mil, and I want the 1911 and uh, lightweight commander, commander, and full size. There you go. Four 1911s. There you go. Maybe an AR-15 in the, uh, you know, but I'm buying that one and having shipped to my cousin because I'm not having any fucking rules and regulations in this state. They can go fucking suck it. They can sut on the teat of a coat. Uh, 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 sut on the teat of a cow. I mean, literally, the fucking state sucks. <sighs> I mean, I have my own ideas, and, I'm, and, and I've already made the arrangements. I just got to send the money out through PayPal. Thing is, I'm getting to the point in my life where I want to be feeling safe. I don't feel safe here. When somebody bear hugs me and tells me I can't go to the sheriff to get her help, and then they say, don't do it again, it's DV, and Chloe's like, Ow, okay. Yeah, Chloe fucking rides on me every fucking day, gets combative. You say, hey, you want to live here? You, you want to, this is something I want to share with you. I say, hey. Here's four days you've been fucking playing games and not doing your chores. I pay the lights, I pay the food, I pay everything, and you're sitting here, I'm ar so depressed, and get the fuck out of here. I don't want to live with someone that's this fucking depressed using depression. I mean, look, everyone wants to know why I'm fucking depressed, I'll tell you. Right then and there. I'm depressed because I gotta live with her. 
So, basically, I talked to a psychiatrist because, yeah, I could be bipolar, but uh, the thing is she wants me on meds, but I've been thrown out of that clinic because Chloe, Chloe basically threw a fucking shit fit at the hospital and they didn't detain me. You know why? I told the police, sheriff, I'm not, a, I'm not suicidal, homicidal, decompressing, or a threat to others. He just been talking to me for 30 minutes. I even told him, and here, let me put it to you this way, okay? Here, Jay's probably wondering about the homeless shelter thing. I can't have let her to care about this, so I might as well just get it out of the way real quick. Rumor has it, and I'm just saying it's a rumor. I can't confirm this, but rumor has it, the, the homeless shelter contacted me, asked me to take her back, because supposedly a girl in the women's dorm got assaulted sexually. So, technically, they wanted Chloe to go back home to deal with things there, including speak but they never showed up. So, because of it, the sheriff and I were talking about that, and, uh, you know, the sheriff basically was curious about, you know, why she's there. And, you know, even the sheriff said that a relationship's toxic, not because of me. The sheriff and I talked, I mean, I, uh, the other sheriff that came and saw me the other day, we talked, he said, yeah, I heard about the report on Sunday, and we talked about it, and he said, yeah, the relationship's toxic because of Chloe. Chloe is, you know, Chloe's the problem. I mean, she demands, she demands, she demands. I mean, look at, at the budget, for example. The budget. Chloe basically doesn't think. Okay, look. People sit there and say I'm a fucking moron. Budgeting talent. You know what? I bet you Tara J goes and does her budget all the time, too. And Lexi. Budgeting properly. Same with Gabby. Same with... I think Tara, I think Tara and Corey budget too. I, I hope they do. I'm just throwing that chuckle out there because I know my family and uh, I've not seen them once budget. I do know Corey does keep an eye on finances really well like a hawk, so he's a good cousin. I love you, Corey. Okay, so as Corey knows and Tara knows, I budget thoroughly. So if, say if I don't want fi uh, uh, if I don't want video games, I can put it towards firearms. If I don't need this, I can put it towards food. If I need that, I can put it towards glasses. Everything I budget, I budget for uh, by the penny. Now, I didn't budget for makeup. It was like 20 bucks for makeup. 20 stinking dollars. That wasn't accounted for. Now, I do give or take by, uh, 10 to 20 dollars a month for copies out. So I can actually have my copy when, you know, because I had to go get copy. And that's one reason why I went to get it. But I budgeted 40 dollars a quarter. And we only did one load, and Chloe spent the rest on junk. Uh, we went to the farmer's market the other day, and she had to have this meal for lunch, the homemade there, and then she had to buy these dips for Super Bowl. And, you, and, you know, they're, they're, they're homemade stuff, but to me, I said no. You know, she just did it anyway. So technically, you know, I mean, let me put it to this way. I talked to a guy the other day. Tara's going to laugh at me. And as you all know, I have three games I'm selling that are unopened, you know, that I have no use for. I have them already opened and uh, played and beat, so that's, you know, I just had bonus copies. I decided to uh, try to sell them. One, I put the total starting price at 250 Right now, the starting current price is 150 just playing around and, and, uh, on uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace, if anyone wants to look. Tara J, you can go and look if you wish. I know you'd be more upset about the Zelda game, which is 150 alone. Unopened. GameCube game, the collection. Problem is, guy offered 100 for three, so I turned around, turned around, and I turned him around to fuck you, I ain't pay, charging 100. I said, you do, you do me this favor, and you, uh, pick up an LG Stylus 4 phone, you can have, nope, $30 was just too much. Plus tax. I said, go fuck yourself there. You're getting a damn steal. You know what? I just already budgeted anyway, so I don't have to worry. I was budgeting for, originally it was for three games. Instead, no one wants to give those games. So, technically, I just, you know, right now, it's fine. You know, I got plenty of games. My main thing is, is I'm very upset at uh, these con artists. But then again, you know, when it comes to budgeting and balancing, I have to balance the dot budget properly. I mean, we have electric subsidy, but we don't know how much the subsidy is going to be dropping because Chloe left the oven on for 14 hours. I mean, for crying out loud, you leave the fucking oven on for 14 hours, they're going to have some fucking problems, you know. And that, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a bad person. I said, don't you understand what it does to the electric bill? Not because, as Teddy said, it could have started a fire. I mean, this is why she needs a fucking group home. Let someone fucking feed her 
and fucking clothes and Oh, well, I need my retro truck so I can buy what I want. Alright, now let me put it this way. For Gabby, Tara J, Lexi, uh, Corey and Tara. The reason I kept Chloe around, okay, is I was told that I was going to get the entire retro check back for support, uh, supporting her. Unfortunately, let's get down to this before I head out, because you know my depression. It was a con job, alright? A con job. I mean, look at it. Let's put, break it down real quick before Chloe returns. Well, I gotta take it back. The mental hospitals all put that she self-diagnosed Asperger's. Now, I just got my records from Children's Hospital, no charge. I'm autistic with fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. They put autistic spectrum disorder, and then in parentheses, Asperger's, and fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, and then they put in, uh, in parentheses, developmentally disabled. There you go. They did it right at Children's Hospital in 1982 to 1996 or something there, right before 18. Now, then they re-updated my chart for Social Security. So, when Social Security applied, but there you go, okay? Chloe, 22-year-old diagnosis, okay, $150. Social Security said, too old. She's not autistic. Exhibit five. They said she shows some signs of bipolar, but she claims on her original application, Tara J, prepare. Wah, wah, wah. She prepared, uh, the record stated that she was going for disability because it's too hard to be a trans woman. You gotta be fucking kidding me. There. Wah, wah, wah. Now, because of it, when we got her out to Grand Integrated Services, they didn't tell us the diagnosis. They refused to tell me. They put bipolar too, because she already was diagnosed bipolar one by Jefferson Behavioral in uh, Ohio. I can tell you this because Chloe doesn't care. So they put bipolar. They didn't put bipolar one or two. They just put bipolar symptoms in her exhibit file. Then. When she went to the psychiatrist to get on cash assistance, he put intermittent explosive temper. It could be controlled by meds and by uh, 12 months therapy to get her back to work. If not, but if it gets worse, it's a bill. No hospitalization. She didn't tell them in the state that she was hospitalized uh, twice in Arizona and once in California, at least, once in West Virginia, and probably a couple times in Ohio, as well as that partial hospitalization, too. So all this stacked up for bipolar symptoms. All right, that makes sense. However, they also said that she's uh, not bipolar either. She's uh, uh alcoholic with a uh, drug addiction problem with meth. That's right, Tara, Gabby, Lexi, Tara J is meth. She confided in her mom recently and someone else here on the island here. Well... The lady told me that I should have compassion for something like that. Really, I drink excessively like a fish, and no one gives a shit about me. I mean, literally, the sheriff the other day was visiting and was talking to me, and the neighbor basically asked why the, he was here, and he says, well, it's none of your business. We're here to talk about Rita. Rita had a uh, thing. Well, why would Rita need a um, a welfare check? The sheriff turned around and said, because. Rita and Chloe uh, are toxic, to, and he gave it to her. You know, this is a lady that we adopted like mom. She just looked at me and she said, I didn't know they were toxic. Oh yeah, toxic as toxic can be. You're looking at freaking nuclear waste toxic. She just was like, oh, I don't want the drama. And he's like, well, you asked, and this is a, and the guy next to me, you know, someone else who is a detective that she knows. So you had a sheriff and a detective, and they both say it's toxic. And I'm like, yeah. And then he left. But you get the idea, literally. So because of it, she goes to Confluence, and they say borderline. Stuck it in there. Then the other hospitals said borderline, the narcissistic, and antisocial, and paranoid. I mean, recently in the emergency room, and the psychiatrist there gave her paranoid personality disorder. So, uh. and then, you know, you got bipolar 1, bipolar 2. Get the cranius, get the affected. I know TJ sitting there going, well, which one? Well, today I, while I woke up to go to the bathroom, she was talking to herself in the mirror like I didn't notice. And I hear it all the time. It's like, you know, like, hey, Bob, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Uh, just shaving, yeah. 
I mean, like, that type of attitude. And it's like, what the fuck is that? Literally, I go in there and she's like, you need something? Are you taking a shit? You better not be taking a shit. And I'm going, I'm taking a piss and going back to bed. I dilated and went to sleep. I can dilate and sleep at the same time. It comes in handy. So you get the idea, everyone. Before it gets too late into this video, like I said, I need to take a bath. You know, she's worried, and I basically said when it came to food stamps, just fucking, basically, uh, when it comes to food stamps, just basically, see, wait for a letter. I mean, TJ probably uh, uses the same logic I do. It's not pretzel logic, as my husband would say. It's wait and see what happens. TJ probably, Tara J probably waiting for a letter saying your food stamps is in the store. I mean, literally, that's all we can do. Right, Tara? Right, Gabby, right, Lexi, right, Tara and Corey? I mean, literally, everyone needs to realize that that's what we have to do. We can't sit on our ass and basically worry about it. I mean, I get 15 bucks a food stamp, big fucking deal. It doesn't affect me that much. I mean, what affects me is living on ramen all the time. Now, let's talk about the food set settings here at home. Because I told this to Tara. When I buy groceries, I have to buy everything in doubles because Chloe demands to be fucking equal. So if I buy 20 pounds of pork chops, she's getting 10 pounds, otherwise it's or else. If I buy 2 pounds of summer sausage from the handmade by Ron Island she gets half of it. If I get wings, which Ron wings are the bomb, it's just I don't eat them, I prefer that. I, you know, I gotta get 4 pounds of wings. You usually make 20 at a time. But when it comes to ribs, Literally, the ribs alone, smoked without barbecue sauce, is good. Smoked or un, uh, smoked or bar with barbecue is the bomb. So I buy a rack of ribs at a time, maybe two racks a month. I don't share those, but I don't know it's pork ribs, bad for my heart. But you get the idea, everyone. I love Chloe dearly, but I can't stand it anymore. Literally, that's how I feel. I mean, you can love someone and still. And then people want to say I'm borderline because oh, I'm de talking negative about her. No. I'm basically telling you damn pe- uh, you damn- uh, sorry, you lovely people, I wasn't gonna say damn people, no, I'm not in it with it this morning, not enough coffee, that, the, the bottom line is, is I can't stand the fucking questions every fucking day, it's all about her, 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 what about me, what does anyone else fucking want, I mean literally, I sit there and I basically tell my family, yeah, this is what she said, this is what she said, you know, how much more am I gonna take, they're like, well you need to get rid of her, yet, no one in their right mind sit there and literally ask me, literally, no one, no one, and I'm saying everyone across the board, ask, how are you feeling, Marita? How are you doing? Is there anything we can do? And yeah, I'm stuck with Chloe, yes. But, at least someone could ask that from time to time. I mean, instead, you know, I get Chloe attacking uh, an innocent woman like Tara Jade for nothing. Tara Jade didn't do nothing to your computer, Chloe. The fucking Fed didn't do nothing to your computer, Chloe. Quit hitting yourself, Chloe. And I'm sitting here, uh, fine, let's just go then if your computer, she finally got it to work 15 minutes later in my spreadsheets and I was doing spreadsheets and texting, but you get the idea. I just want to fucking stay home to, and tether to my computer and do my work at home. I don't like going out. I'm a fucking hermit, but I wish someone would just basically say they're there, or, you know, we'll put a plan together or whatever. Instead, you know, everyone, it seems in this fucking world, you know, the, the, it's to each their own, you know. I mean, whatever happened to humanity, you know, helping humanity. I mean, look, I thought as a person with a gold heart, like Cubby would say, stick it out and try to get her help. But you know what? I've learned you can't help her. I mean, literally, every time she turns around, she's talking about going to hell when she dies. I mean, literally. I mean, li literally, she's talking about either uh, doing this or uh, plugging that or harming this or, you know, like on the way home, uh, she was ta uh, griping about how she wanted to make certain people in her family, my family, homeless. I mean, what type of person is that? Literally. I mean, I can't stand it. Uh, no one asks, how am I doing? I mean, literally, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there, right, minding my own business, trying to think about what the fuck to do, right, literally, 
shaking my head, going, I don't want to hear this this morning. He said, oh, we're going to have food stamps, the militia's going to come out and kill us, and blah, blah, we're going to be genocided as trans. Wait and see. Literally, I think she's lost her damn melon, or cabbage, as they say, in uh, Quigley Down Under. You know, Tara J probably laughs at that movie. Do you think he's lost his cabbage? Yeah, I think Chloe's lost her dog, her brain. I mean, literally, I mean, literally, it's just, you know, and people, and then some people say, oh, I feed this. No, I don't feed the shit. I don't like being fucking blamed. Oh, Chloe's saying the bear's by Rita. I mean, I fucking put the doctor's foot straight that one night in the hospital. She just had me sent out. The sheriff, basically, I overheard him say, look, we have reports from Adult Protection Services. We have reports from Moses Lake. We have all these reports. We can't touch her, yet the abuse is coming from Chloe, not Rita. So if you want to do that, that's fine. Otherwise, I mean, I had Chloe's medical records in possession, and I basically told them. I was going through with the nurse. She asked me why I asked for Social Security. Find anything useful? I mean, the nurse was nice. I go, no. It basically says you self-diagnosed her autism. She needs to be medicated, and she never got medicated. I said, you guys just wasted the taxpayer's money sending her when they kicked her out four days later with refusing meds and refusing her medical records. Wow, you guys are great! Next thing you know, all these tests, next thing you know, out the door I go. There you have it. So, you ask me why I'm depressed, there you go. All I want to do is have a clean house, which she makes so much of a fucking mess. And I just don't want to be fucking asked the same questions all the time. Times I'm uh, being learning disabled, I'd like to have my family, to, uh, and I'm not saying, uh, say, you know, I'm not complaining to anyone here. I'd like my family to turn around and say, hey, go ahead and place that order for your, your socks online and your coffee and just get it over with. And I mean, I wanted to get a giant thing of peanut butter, right? I keep peanut butter for bread. We got more bread in the freezer than we can do with because of the food thing, right? No, Chloe, that's, she opens up the peanut butter, sticks the food in, and goes, Do you think I want to touch something that a spoon's been put in her mouth and then into the peanut butter container? Yeah, I know, Sarah and everyone's going, ew. Yeah. I mean, I can't fucking stand it. I literally can't stand it. I can't stand fucking sitting there. I eat my dinner last when after she eats because I don't want to sit here sitting here and sitting, sitting here and go. And she eats with her mouth open. Even Tara B. Holt's seen that. Literally. I mean, literally, didn't your mom teach you to, hey, how are we now? We're going to have a mic and get on my daddy card. I mean, literally, then she yells at me not to talk with my mouth open. I mean, I feel like I'm just taking care of her, and she's the master. That's why I say yes, master, and she gets mad. And it's because I don't feel you know, like I'm, uh, 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 there's no purpose for me, except for fucking, you know, and that's what I feel, you and abused, and I'm tired of it. I thought she would change. She isn't. She's got to go. Plain and simple. I'm telling you this because you guys know outright. Tara J knows. Gabby knows what she knows in the past. I mean, literally, Gabby, you know, I mean, literally, uh, you know, as I told Tara, I, uh, Tara, I thought she'd uh, change, but also, you know, Tara doesn't realize that, you know, the homeless shelter forced her out, so she had to come home. And then the manager didn't do anything. And by the way, just to let you all know, the manager here knows about the whole issue that happened with me, March. I gave her papers, and she she talked to her boss because there's no uh, no charges pressed anywhere. There's nothing to be done. Same with the homeless shelter, no charges pressed. Same with out here because she claims she got assaulted by a neighbor, as everyone knows. Thing is, I'm tired of all this bullshit and drama, I want to play Skyrim, I want to play my video games, I want to read my books, I want to think, I want, you know, literally, uh, to read, and, you know, I've been looking at a Kindle, I've been looking at it now, I know Jess watches these, so Jess, if you're watching this, this is what goes on every day, so you're like, oh, you know, your your girlfriend, no, literally, I'm fed up, alright, I'm fucking fed up, while you sit there, and uh, you know, uh, Say, oh, yeah, upload pics. I've been meaning to do it. I will get my phone, new, my phone again, but the reason I haven't is this is the reason. I'm depressed. Literally. I gotta live in filth. I gotta live with someone who eats sausage links that's 18 hours old and sitting on a plate. Yeah, I mean, she'll just pick him up. Oh, I'm gonna heat them. Heat them in the oven. Eat them. I would not want to eat even with heated pork meat. It's not that good. Even if it, you leave it out. I mean, come on. I wouldn't leave bacon out. 
I mean, I know bacon's another thing that's shoveling in, but you guys get the idea. I mean, this stuff's got to stop, so that's why I'm looking at, you know, uh, uh, San Diego, Las Vegas, Phoenix, uh, Pittsburgh, or uh, Columbus. You know, one of those places is in there, too. I mean, I can't stand it. I mean, look, the question of the day is this. Do you think she'll get on disability? No, I don't. Even if she got treatment, I don't think so. I mean, I talked to a psychiatrist in front of Chloe that said, you're not going to get disability. I mean, I signed you into the mental hospital three times at Harborview, and I made a mistake. She's like, you're not going to get any better. You're going to get worse. Even medicated, you know. You're one of these people, you know. The physical side effects of these meds are not worth it to her. So she says, well, you've made your bed, so now you get to go find jobs. You can't and she's going to be fired. Eventually, everyone's going to disown you. I mean, that's the other thing. Her medical records date in all her records that her mom's abused her. Her dad, stepdad's abused her. Her dad, who's now a woman, uh, neglected her. And that she's been abused by everyone. Literally. Yet, and, uh, yet it also says in her medical record she abuses me. Except for the last record. The last record stated that she uh, was abused by me. So you can see, but... When I told the sheriff, he went out and I overheard him say, look, every one of her records that Rita read basically says that Chloe's abuse Rita, which is true. We already know that you guys are accusing Rita of abuse. Problem is, you guys don't understand how much Rita's got to go through and go through hell with a cut her loose. So, that said, everyone, it's time for me to go take a bath and have a dip and, and stuff. So, Chloe should be back soon. But you guys get the idea. Why do I feel depressed? There you have it, right there in an eggshell. Now, I will tell you, yesterday I took my debit card into the um, library with me, and I fixed my pre-orders on Amazon. Uh, I got to do some email for some business uh, coming up tomorrow, if the weather's decent, uh, and upload these videos, but I just wanted to share the video with you to let you know that I'm feeling pretty damn uh, poor on... Uh, on everything going on, you know, that's why I said, how much more am I going to take? I mean, no one literally asks how I'm doing. It's all about, you know, what they're doing or this or that. I mean, look, let me put it this way, okay? Before I go, me and Tara were talking the other day, and I want Tara to know this very clearly, because I love Tara with all my heart, Tim Corey. The reason I don't like traveling down to Portland much anymore is not because of the finances. It's because I hate fucking traveling. I mean, look, you gotta pack a bag up. You gotta fucking load the bag up. You gotta get on the ferry. Then you get off the ferry. Then you gotta deal with the fucking bus driver telling you to close it or collapse it or fold it or it's too big. You can't travel with it. Then when you do get the right size, let's just say I do get the right size, you gotta get off the bus, transfer another bus, then transfer another bus, then get on a bus. Then finally get into fucking the bus depot and wait there. Get a cup of coffee and wait. Get on the train. Go down there. Thing is, is I if I'm going to be traveling, I would like to stay more than a day. Now I'm not saying it's Karen Corey's position to put me up. No, it isn't. My thing is, is I have to be close to train station, and that's where the the problem is because the finances are hard because I don't want to contaminate uh, uh, Tara's uh, fur baby to flee. So technically, you know, with Moppy, uh, you know, we've gotten some treatment. It's not working, so we got to go to the vet next month. So until the fleas are taken care of, I can't get my vagina looked at, so i got to wait till the primary care looks at it, see if it's good or not. If it isn't looking right, I'll have her send a message down to the doctor so we can coordinate travel plans to go there. But in the meantime, I can't afford Chloe, and, you know, the same thing goes with razor blades or uh, shaving cream. I mean, I, I mean, you guys already heard the story of that, you know, in previous vids. I mean, literally. So, technically, I'm just fed up with the fact, you know, the router's broken, so we can't use it anyway. And, uh, Chloe hasn't seen a bill yet. Those motherfuckers keep sending it, you know. Uh, I mean, I might have to just pay the entire bill off and then tell them to fucking fix the router. If they charge us 300 bucks for a router, it's not my job. I mean, literally, I'm to the point where, you know, I was going to pay, uh, See, my plan was to use my debit card at the beginning of the, this month and pay off the internet bill. Unfortunately, my card was locked and I had to get a new one, but you guys get the idea. So, with my stress, I had a new card. Now, i got to contact creditors, no phone. It's just a big torrential rainfall of mess, but to me, it's a lesson that is learned, you know. I mean, literally. I mean, I had... Um, 
you know, things happen and things happen. And, well, frankly, I'm tired of things happening. I mean, i got to buy a backup phone. Some of you wonder what happened to the backup phone I have. It went missing. No one knows. Just like my glasses, the phone just went magically missing. No one knows where the phone went. I mean, literally, this is stuff that happens, and then i got to question Chloe about it, you see. And then you, I mean, literally, this is why people don't sit there and say, well, what happened to your back phone, or how are you doing? No, no one asks me how the fuck I'm doing. My sister Teddy does. She says, how are you feeling? I go, oh, yeah, yeah. She's like, I understand. No one else does. It's like everyone else is in their own fucking world, you know, worried about me. I'm, I'm happy to collect these messages and contact me via Facebook Messenger. She's got my phone number, you know. Calls me and says, hey, how are you doing? You know, what's new? How are you feeling? You know, and we talk. Chloe, on the other hand, doesn't even ask me. I mean, look, I got to buy half the food. I got to fucking pay the electric bill. And then she doesn't have any care of the world. I mean, it's like Chloe the freeloader. Or the mooch. I mean, literally, that's, I mean, literally, maybe it's just me, but I'm tired of being picked on. I'm tired of no one asking how I'm feeling. I mean, yeah, my cousin said something like, what up? Uh, I think it was like, what up, you hold? Like, I'm fine. I'm fine. But, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I asked how everyone else is doing, and in all my letters to Tara, I say, hey, how are you doing, you know? But... No one asked me how the fuck I'm doing. I gotta do a fucking video, and then I hope I don't get barbecued for it. So. There you have it, you know. No, and even Chloe's mom doesn't even ask. Oh, how are you doing? How's my kid treating you? Nope, nothing. No, at least the sheriff asked me. At least the psychiatrist and the doctors. I mean, I can't fucking stand it. I literally can't fucking stand it. To the point I'm losing my fucking mind. I mean, I'm losing it. It's like, you know, yes, I made the biggest fucking mistake of my life. I, I admit it. There you go. I admit it. But you know what? I can still fix it. I just got to get her out of here. But now she doesn't want to leave. She wants to fucking get a job and doesn't realize that she threw up my home housing because of her idea of a job. I'm sorry, but no. I mean, literally. You get a job, you lose your food stamps. You don't get a job. You keep your food stamps. Go to another state. I mean, look, you can apply for Medicaid in another state. Good for you. I mean, she always researched for that, but we weren't, uh, she doesn't have a letter yet in the mail. That, and she refused the cash assistance appointment, so that would have helped us out. Her rent would have went up at 90 bucks, but guess what? She decided not to do it. That's her loss, not mine. With that said, everyone, I better go run my bath water and get a bath in, so please, please, please add, subscribe. Please post comments. Please leave feedback, suggestions. Just keep it nice as all we ask, and uh, enjoy every pup.